Okay, so there's three types of hitters. There is the mechanical hitter, and the mechanical hitter is prone to vapor locking and always looking for a walk or, you know, not really comfortable up there and not really knowing what to do, doesn't have a plan. Um, the second type um, is the automatic mechanical hitter. He's got a, maybe he has a professional swing. He's learned that through repetition, through rehearsal, and, and uh, um, through some perfect practice. Maybe he's had some coaching to learn a, a professional swing, but he doesn't necessarily have the plan, and he doesn't understand the timing and the variables, but he's got a good swing. That's a player that, that, that I call the counter puncher. Um, and I'm gonna give an example of that in just a minute. So he's the counter puncher, all right? So there's just the mechanical hitter who's gonna vapor lock a lot and he's, he's gonna have a hard time swinging, he's gonna, he's gonna take pitches down the middle and he doesn't know why, he's gonna, and then he's gonna vapor lock you know, on those and then and swinging balls over his head. The other guy, the automatic mechanical hitter has got a nice smooth swing, but he's a counter puncher and I'll go into that in just a second. The natural hitter, the natural hitter is, has an automatic mechanical, of course, he's learned to swing, he has a professional swing. It's automatic through repetition, through rehearsal. He's learned his swing and all the techniques um, so that his body moves the way he wants it to move. His movements are natural. Just like if you were gonna learn how to play the piano, once you learn how to do it, your fingers just kind of move and you don't even know what's going on. It's just the fact that you've learned it and it happens. But there's also the automatic, the part of the timing, because hitting is timing. And the, the timing is so critical um, to the mechanics to make something happen in the game that that, that becomes important. Now, um, the third type of hitter is more like the sniper. And I contrast the sniper with the counter puncher, all right? So let me give you a couple examples. Let's say the counter puncher is the mechanical hitter who's got a good swing and he's got a pro professional swing and I've seen all too many players that were number one round picks and then they end up in independent ball or they end up somewhere and they think they got a raw deal or whatever it is, but you can tell all they know are mechanics. They don't know the plan, they don't know their timing, they don't understand how to cope with the pitcher, they don't know how to filter out the motion of the pitcher, they don't know how to synchronize the release of the pitch, the timing, and how to, how to gauge timing, how to rehearse timing. There's so many things that they don't understand that, you know, but they can learn the automatic mechanical swing because they have a pretty good swing. Now, I call these the counter punchers. So imagine you got a guy, he's in an alley, he's backed into an alley, and uh, he's got a bat in his hand, and he's, and he's just protecting himself. All right, he may be winning too, and he may have a good year even. Um, um, you know, uh, you're relating it to a hitter. But there's gonna be a certain level. I see a lot of guys at the AAA level, at the AAA level, who are good mechanical hitters, but when they get to the big leagues, they're never gonna make it because they're not a natural hitter. The natural hitters are the only ones that make it to the big leagues. If you're just a mechanical hitter only, you're not going to make it. Now, the natural hitter is more like a sniper. Now, imagine the counter puncher is backs up against a wall. Three guys are attacking him. He may be kicking their butts. You know, he's got a bat in his hand. and He may be protecting himself and he may be winning. But there's that point where he can't go up to to a certain, go, he can't go past a certain level because once, at some point, once the competition gets so strong, you just, you, you can't surpass that ability and be in charge as a hitter unless you understand how to be a natural hitter. Now, the difference between the automatic mechanical hitter and the natural hitter who's got the automatic mechanics as well and automatic timing because he understands timing and he's not thinking. Now, now both hitters aren't thinking too much. Now, the me automatic mechanical hitter is not thinking about his mechanics so much, but he might be thinking a little bit about overly thinking about his plan and he might vapor lock a little bit.
But the counterpuncher is the guy that's backed up against the wall and he's more of a defensive hitter. And he may be doing well, so he gets onto the ball and then the ball gets on him. In other words, instead of preemptively looking for your pitch and swinging as if you, you knew it was coming a week earlier, you know, I mean, um, think of Adrian Gonzalez. He, he takes a swing. It's as if he knew it was coming, here it comes, and here he hits it. That's what great hitters do. Um, the third type of hitter, of course, is a natural hitter. He's like a sniper. Now think of the difference between being in an alley as a counterpuncher versus a sniper a quarter mile away in a perch, completely protected, planning out the situation, got the plan down, knowing when the mark's coming out, got the scope lined up, everything's all lined up, ready to go. And then when it's time to shoot, you shoot. And when you get your pitch, you never miss your pitch. The sign of a, of a major league hitter, somebody asked me one time, what is a major league hitter? And I said, you know, it's when your manager knows. And they go, what do you mean? Well, when your manager knows, your coaches know, your teammates know, shoot, the other team knows that when you get your pitch, you don't miss it. Now, if you're a counter puncher, you don't know if you're going to get your butt kicked. But as a sniper, you're sitting there, you're, you're not even in position to get hurt. And when you get your pitch, you're, gonna, you're not going to miss your mark. You're going to hit it. The sign of a good hitter, the sign of a major league hitter, is when he gets his pitch, he doesn't miss it. So those are the three different types of hitters. The mechanical hitter, who's not automatic, who thinks, mechanical, who thinks mechanically all the time. Second is the mechanical, automatic mechanical, who just you know, works on his swing over and over until it becomes repetitious. And the third, which is the major league hitter, and that'll be the MLB hitter, is the guy who never misses his pitch when he gets it.